Hi, I'm Jay from Trident, and today we're going to talk about how to install joint sand. Start the job outright by choosing joint sand that is coarse, angular, washed, screened, and dried, meeting the ASTM C144 specifications. This type of sand is cleaner, stronger, and more stable, which ensures long-term durability and successful joint stabilization. SEK's joint sand is available in a wide variety of colors that will complement any segmental system. On existing surfaces, be sure to remove a minimum of an inch of the old sand. On new surfaces, the joints should be empty. The tools you will need are a broom, shovel, vibratory roller or plate compactor, and leaf blower. Start with a clean and dry surface. Stage the bags evenly around the project. Then, cut open each bag and distribute the sand low to the surface forming an S pattern as you go, within a small area. Sweep sand into the joints using a broom with medium stiff bristles. A small hand broom works well in tight areas. Initially, sweep the sand in the same direction of the joints. Move excess sand with a shovel to other parts of the project. On the next pass, sweep the remaining sand at an angle to the joints. Once the joints are full, remove any leftover sand. Use a vibratory roller or compactor with pad to eliminate any voids and settle the sand into the joints. Proper sand height is 1 8 inch below the surface. On chamfered edge pavers, the sand should be 1 8 inch below the chamfer. If needed, sweep additional sand into the joints, making sure you do not overfill them. The final step is to blow off any remaining small particles from the surface with a leaf blower on low idle. The surface is now ready to be sealed with a joint stabilizing sealer. Triton products are professional grade and field proven for over 30 years. We offer technical support and training which is critical to your success with surface restoration. For more product information and additional videos, visit us online at tridentprotects.com.